This video is brought to you by healthhype.com. Always consult with your doctor. The information in this video cannot replace a medical consultation. Do not undertake any change in your current treatment without first speaking to your doctor. Blood is constantly flowing in the arteries, veins and capillaries throughout the body. Although blood is mostly composed of water, it has a host of other substances within it. This includes blood cells, fragments of cells, gases, nutrients, and various chemicals such as hormones. Despite these various substances, blood is normally fluid so that it can flow with ease. Sometimes the components of blood may aggregate to form a clot. This blood clot has important purposes but can sometimes be dangerous. When there is a break in a blood vessel, these components of blood plug the tear. This plug is the blood clot. Eventually the body will repair the break in the blood vessel and the clot is removed. This is a life-saving mechanism that prevents us from bleeding out. However, clots can sometimes form within blood vessels that are not broken. This clot then occupies the space in which blood would normally flow through. The blood clot may remain at the site where it forms and is referred to as a thrombus. Sometimes a clot can break away from where it originated and travel through the bloodstream. In this case it is referred to as an embolus. A free-moving blood clot may not always be a problem as it can eventually be dissolved by the body. However, there is always the risk of the blood clot becoming lodged somewhere in the circulation. It can then block blood flow through the artery or vein where it is stuck. This is a possibility as a blood clot passes into smaller blood vessels but it is more likely to occur when a vessel is abnormally narrowed. Most of the time a narrowing occurs when fatty plaques develop in the walls of blood vessels. This is known as atherosclerosis. It slowly reduces blood flow through the affected vessel and eventually a blood clot can form at the narrowed portion. The blood clot blocks the already narrowed vessel and blood flow is then totally obstructed. Organs that lie beyond this blockage therefore do not receive sufficient oxygen and nutrients for survival. One of the areas where this often occurs is in the heart. This can result in a heart attack. Let us look at it in more detail. The tiny arteries that supply blood to the heart muscle gradually becomes narrowed by the fatty plaques. This is known as coronary artery disease. It is a major risk factor for a heart attack. When these arteries, known as the coronary arteries, become narrowed and then blocked, blood cannot move beyond the blockage. The affected area of the heart muscle becomes injured and tissue death will eventually occur if blood flow is not quickly restored. This is what happens in a heart attack. Blood clots are not only a problem for the heart. It can also affect the brain, limbs, bowels, and any part of the body since blood is needed for tissue to survive anywhere. One of the signs of a blood clot blocking blood flow to an organ is pain. The lack of oxygen initially causes tissue injury known as ischemia. This triggers inflammatory chemicals which elicit pain. The pain occurs in and around the organ that is affected. However, it is also important to note that other sensations may also be experienced, ranging from a dull ache to tingling and even numbness. Every part of the body needs a constant supply of oxygen and nutrients to continue functioning. Therefore when blood is restricted by a clot then there is a disruption in some function of the affected organ. For example, in a stroke where the brain is starved of oxygen there are symptoms like dizziness, poor coordination, even loss of consciousness and ultimately death is possible. Blood, particularly oxygen-rich blood, is responsible in part for the normal color of skin. When blood flow is restricted or oxygen levels are abnormally low then the color of the skin is altered. This appears as paleness but will not always be obvious for deeper lying organs. As the problem persists, the paleness may eventually take on a blue color. This is a serious sign known as cyanosis. 
when an area is inflamed or if blood and tissue fluid cannot drain out properly then it can become swollen. This is more likely to occur when a vein is obstructed which prevents the blood and tissue fluid from being carried back to the heart. It may be obvious in areas like the limbs but is not usually noticeable in the deeper lying organs. Blood plays an important role in heat distribution and temperature regulation in the body. Heat from the core of the body is carried to the surface. Therefore a clot can limit this distribution of internal heat and a part of the body may feel cold to the touch. This can be seen most prominently in the limbs if a blood clot restricted blood flow. The affected arm or leg may therefore feel colder to touch than the rest of the body. Depending on where a blood clot occurs, it can be a medical emergency. Always seek medical attention. A blood clot in non-vital areas like the leg can dislodge and travel up to vital organs where it may cause death. This is seen in conditions like a pulmonary embolism. This video was brought to you by healthhype.com. Visit our website for more information and subscribe to our YouTube channel for our latest medical videos.